guys and welcome back. I, I know I look a little different. I know, natural curls? Who knew? Who knew? I didn't, I didn't know my hair could get this naturally curly. Um, so today I'm gonna diffuse my hair and I'm gonna add a little bit of curl cream and I'll show you guys how I achieve this look. Also wanted to give a huge shout out to Croc for sponsoring this video. Really appreciate you guys and your partnership. Um, and if you guys wanna use my code Chloe30, it'll save you some money at crocusa.com. Uh, everything that I used in this video will be in the description box below. So you guys can just click on those links and it'll take you straight to them. All right, without further ado, let's get right into this video. <sighs> this is the first time I've filmed something like this. I am not a curly hair expert whatsoever. I know that I have um, wavy hair. There's something there, something. So I decided to try it one day, use a diffuser. I had heard really good things about curlsmith so i went to alta and i picked some up i will link these in the description box below if you guys are interested um, most people said that the hydro style flexi jelly and the weightless air dry cream worked good i'm gonna try out that first off uh your hair has to be super wet like really soaking wet i took a shower obviously did my makeup re-wet my hair so it's soaking it's supposed to be soaking and you're supposed to brush it really good. So we will brush, brush, brush. And then you're supposed to put leave-in conditioner in it. Let's use a Sexy Hair Calm. It's a soothing conditioner, but we'll just spray it everywhere. I'm not sure if this is right. You know what I mean? We're just gonna try it. Uh, a leave-in conditioner for all hair types. This is the weightless air dry cream. We are not going to um, air dry our hair today. We are gonna use a diffuser because I need all the help I can get. So apply it everywhere. Now with curly hair, if you wanna do like curly hair stuff, you gotta do the roots too. So that's what we're doing. And then we'll do a little bit of this flexi gel. It smells like watermelon Jolly Ranchers or something, the Sour Patch. Okay, get it everywhere. I'm gonna take my like my head wrap that I used earlier and we're gonna do this. You just scrunch it up to get it curly. Just keep doing this for a little bit. And then if you need to add more jelly, you can do that. So because I'm gonna be using a blow dryer, I'm gonna do a little bit of the multi-flex um, from Croc, this is just their heat protectant. And that's what my hair looks like from just doing that. My hair, if I were to just let this air dry, I don't think that it would be pretty. There's some relaxing stuff going on right here. Um, there's curly parts here and there. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna be using a diffuser. A diffuser allows the air to like not blow on your hair, but it allows even distribution of heat. So this one is from Croc. This is a silicone one, which is nice because you can just like, I don't know, when you take it off, it kind of goes into itself and it's a really easy storage. Most ones are like hard plastic and they're huge and they're kind of hard to store. So I do like the silicone one. I will link it down below as well. And then the blow dryer I'm using today is the Croc Premium IC blow dryer. So let's start that. I'm gonna be doing a lot of upside down, side to side kind of thing. So I'll probably do it like a fast forward. But like I said, if you do want a code for this blow dryer and this diffuser, the multi-flex is included in that as well. The code Chloe30 will save you money on crocusa.com. All right, so I wanted to show you halfway through the process. All of this is getting really, really curly. See down there? So focus on sections at a time. So this is <laughs> what happened to my hair after I diffused it. And you can tell that there's some pieces that aren't as curly as others, right? Um, now, will I wear my hair parted down the middle? No. <laughs> I don't have any layers put in my hair, so if I don't like 
tease it up or like flip it to one side sometimes um, it could look like a triangle like it kind of does now so what we're gonna do is especially on the top I don't have as much definition as I do on the bottom on the bottom like it is so curly or wavy I shouldn't say curly I don't have like ringlet curls but it has a lot of movement which is nice so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take my 3 4 inch curling iron from Croc. This is their hybrid curling iron. I'm gonna set it to 370, which is the lowest setting that they have. And I'm gonna edit some of these curls. Now, I'm not just gonna curl them like a regular curl. I'm gonna wand curl them. I feel like it's the curl that most mimics a natural wave. So we're gonna do that. I'm not gonna do everything. And I'm just gonna run my hands very lightly through it. And I'm not gonna go like all the way to the root and I'm not gonna let it sit on there for a long time. I just want some curls to just be edited just a little bit. And I'm gonna curl in the direction that the curls seem to be going in. Um, so everything's gonna be different. Some are gonna be forward curls, some are gonna be backwards. As you can tell, wand curling is just, you don't have to open the barrel on this one, um, but you just kind of twist it around and then let it go. That's the cool thing about this curling iron as well as it can be used as a wand curling iron or a regular curling iron or it has like a twistable feature to where you can twist the barrel and curl your hair like a Marcel curling iron which allows you to curl so fast. I love it. Okay. I think that is good on this side, right? And we're gonna flip it anyway, so we'll see if we need to curl anything underneath. And then this side did get a little frizzy. It was a little bit too harsh with the diffuser on this side. So just to tame down that frizziness, I'm gonna switch hands. Uh, it makes it easier for me to wand curl. I like the barrel being face downwards when I wand curl. And so you kind of just put it over your head and face it down. I am pretty darn happy with how naturally curly my hair got. Who knew? If you just treat it a little bit and do the things that the curly girls do, you know, you can get some nice bouncy curls in there. I heard that if your hair has frizz, um, you definitely could have curly hair. And I didn't realize how much uh, natural curl my hair had. Now what we're gonna do here is, I'm gonna tease a little bit, just a little bit. And I don't wanna make my curls um, frizzy. So I'm just gonna, you know, I lifted up my hair, teased the root a little bit without separating the curls. Usually I would like brush it out, but I'm not going to since my hair is curly. Wow, that looks great, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. I'm very happy. All right, now we're going to take these and we're gonna tease them at the root on this side and then I'm gonna flip it. With this, you can't really like run your fingers through your curls. You don't want them to mess up. And then if I see something that's a little straight, I'll take it and add a little shrippity doo -dah. Perfect, okay. Now I'll focus on this side. Since I flipped it over, this little guy needs to be curled. Honestly, I feel like that's about it. Now we're gonna tease just underneath here. You know what I really like about this curl cream stuff? I don't know what you call this. <laughs> yeah, this is weightless air dry cream and this is a jelly. Um, it doesn't leave your hair feeling sticky. You know those mousses? You guys remember like where you in high school and um, you used to like mousse your hair with like that gel and that crunchy, crunchy mousse and then it would be like, <laughs> Like you could hear your hair. This isn't like that, which is kind of nice. I really like, it's very um, touchable. And I don't know, I feel like if you, like the next day, say if your hair is a little frizzy, you can 
spray it with some water and like diffuse it real quick and it would be good. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit of hairspray in this and then we'll call it a day. Who knew? Who knew? Who knew I had curly hair? Nobody, <laughs> when I posted that picture the other day and I had diffused my hair with all this stuff, um, you guys were like, whoa, didn't know your hair was that curly. Honestly, I didn't either. I knew it had potential, but not this much. Let me do a 360 so you can check out the whole shebang and we'll get out of here. You ready? I can't stop touching it, I love it. All right, thank you guys so much for clicking on this video. I hope that this was helpful for somebody who is new to allowing their hair to dry <laughs> in its natural state and kind of help it out a little bit. I don't know, I'm curious. Try this at home, let me know if your hair has natural curl to it. I truly, obviously diffusion helps a lot. Tons of moisture, conditioner, and a little bit of help. This diffuser is definitely a game changer. I don't think that my hair would have dried naturally if it were to just air dry. So I'm, I approve of this message. <laughs> uh, go ahead and try it out at home. Let me know how it worked for you and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.